So I figured I'd do a little bit of a walkthrough on uh, some of the systems that are under the bed of my truck. So starting out at the back, we've got the original um, five-speed with an extra low manual transmission. Um, that hasn't changed since uh, the original vehicle. And then now plugged into it is our 72 volt and series wound DC motor. Um, that's on this custom adapter plate. So we've got an adapter plate that matches the transmission housing. Um, some large standoffs and then an adapter plate that mounts right onto the motor face. Inside there is a coupler uh, that goes from the motor shaft to the flywheel. So the clutch is still being used. Uh, moving up forward, we've got the uh, electronic vacuum pump. So since there's no more vacuum, I replaced it with a 12 volt one and that runs a um, hose right along here um, up to the front and uh, runs the brakes from that. Uh, we have the four-wheel drive actuator, so that's still connected, um, still got the solenoid in there, but haven't quite hooked that up to anything yet, so at this point it's a manual process of taking this little hose and uh, running some vacuum on it to, to engage four-wheel drive. So further forward we've got this box under a waterproof lid um, that has the uh, rest of the electronics in it. So we'll take off the cover and uh, take a look inside. So taking a look inside, this end we've got the charger, uh, DC motor controller, got the throttle box, uh, 12 volt DC to DC converter. So for this, I opted to not have a 12 volt battery at all and everything's powered off the DC to DC. Over here, we've got contactor for the heater inside. We've got a USB to CAN bus adapter. Um, got the master power switch, uh, which is accessible from the outside. So that's easy to turn off if there's ever any issues. Um, and then the BMS on top and the two battery packs. So these packs are out of a Ford Mustang, I believe. Uh, I opted for two of them in series, which gives a nominal 72 volts. Um, then we've got the fuse mounted right down there. Uh, I can see all the cell taps coming off for the BMS. Uh, those go right into the, uh, the factory connectors in those batteries. Uh, and then the motor controller connects over USB um, for some telemetry um, and the BMS from Thunderstruck uh, as well over CAN through that CAN bus adapter up to a um, computer in the front. So inside the cab, out of this custom touchscreen, uh, it shows a map of the truck and where you are. You get a little chart with the speed you're moving, uh, power consumed, and some basic stats from the BMS. So lots more available. It logs it all internally on the database, um, and then there's a whole bunch more graphs that you can kind of go back in time and uh, analyze the performance. Um, and then underneath the dashboard right above there a little hard to see but is the um, the computer so that's doing all the data collection um, from all the devices in the electronics box as well as a uh, GPS on the roof um, and uh, I'm logging it all on board so that's really an overview of all the electronics and the different systems in the vehicle um, if you have any further questions about anything in particular, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll uh, try to answer those in future videos. Thanks for watching.